Hello, everybody. This is Darren Redman for Redman's Wrap Up Sunday Evening Edition on June 3rd. Game two is now in the books. Golden State Warriors are up 2 nothing over the Cleveland Cavaliers. And again, it's no shade on LeBron. People, oh, no shade. And then you're going to throw shade on him. No, I'm going to give a little bit of reality. Well, actually, I want to do a little fortune telling. We could talk about the nine three-pointers by Steph Curry. Just unbelievable. And again, you have all these talking heads talking about where's Steph Curry been, this or that, where's Durant. They just keep winning. Now, do I expect him to sweep? Absolutely not. I expect the Cleveland Cavaliers probably to win game three. And then we can make this a series again. But they just, but Cleveland just got dismantled on uh, Sunday night. And uh, can you, can the ESPN announcers on ABC, you know, just can you put down the pom poms, the Cavalier pom poms for a minute? Every time a guy sweats near LeBron, they're calling for fouls. It was probably a very fair game for, on both sides. You know, contact is contact. Incidental contact sometimes gets called, sometimes it doesn't. And then again, so what, what are we going to talk about tomorrow? We're going to talk about how it's LeBron and nobody else. Meanwhile, Kevin Lowe, I thought, outplayed LeBron James tonight. I think there were four Cleveland Cavaliers in double digits of scoring. So he didn't do it by himself. He didn't play bad. He played very well. So there's no, there's no hate on this. But what I, what I dislike, almost said hate, what I dislike is when there's like the excuse meter goes up in droves every time LeBron loses a game. And if he wins a game, he's the next thing since sliced bread. You know what it's like? Trying to find a talking head on those morning shows that you might watch on two certain channels. If you have DirecTV on channel, you know, what is it, 206 and, and 219. Um, you know, it's like trying to find a person who's really into Star Wars to ever say that there was ever a bad a Star Wars movie. Have you seen the new Solo movie? Han Solo movie? Not exactly something that you would expect. I'm glad Harrison Ford is not in this movie. Anyway, back to LeBron James. Back to the Cleveland Cavaliers. You lost the game. And you, you, quite frankly, every time you got within seven points... Transition game, Golden State, came up, fast break, three-point shot, and in. Every time you, you pulled close. So, you know, Cleveland, you're playing a good series, but you're playing a team. And again, that whole LeBron by himself, no, you had four people in double digits by the third period, by the third quarter. So, what do we expect going forward? I expect LeBron and the Cleveland Cavaliers to come back, quite frankly, and win game three. I'll be very surprised if they don't. Home court, the whole thing. Anyway, so we got a 122-103 annihilation of the Cleveland Cavaliers. So tomorrow morning, we get up and you have your coffee and you watch the talking heads on these two channels. They'll talk about, instead of the great job by Steph Curry, the great job by Kevin Durant, the great job by, by uh, Golden State using a lot of loud lateral movement, a lot of uh, you know ball play, passing the ball around, a lot of deep shots. They'll talk about how effective or how this affected poor LeBron James. The guy is great. Why do you got to do that? Clickbait? Maybe. But you're going to hear about that. And then you're going to hear about how's he going to come back, should he lead the Cavaliers, and on and on. At the end of the day, if you like the NBA like I do, Golden State's up 2 nothing. Cleveland, you're still in this thing. But we don't want to hear those excuses. You lost. Grow up. Be, <laughs> be a professional. And move on. No excuses. I don't want to hear about referees. I don't want to hear about non-calls in the this, in this second period, second quarter. I don't want to hear about any of that. You lost. You had four people with double digits, and you still lost. You allowed the team that you were playing to score over 120 points. How about a little defense? How about that? little defense. How about a couple steals? How about less, oh, I should have got that call, and a little bit more, you know, anticipating a pass and cutting off and, and, and getting a steal? Golden State Warriors up 2 nothing. This is Darren Redman for Redman's Wrap-Up.